How to Be a Successful Tyrant. It's my first book. I finished writing it in 2005, and it came out in 2006, so I finished writing it 15 years ago. It's currently out of print. Um, I'm working on getting the second edition back into print. Thought I'd give a dramatic reading of one little part of it. This is chapter two, Exploiting Fear. From the beginning, subheading, Fear as a Tool. Now, keep in mind, this is written as a manual for someone trying to be a tyrant. So when it says you, it's talking to somebody trying to be a tyrant. Almost all oppression via propaganda is based upon scaring people and then presenting a false choice where the people can choose either to do what you want them to do or face some unknown, often purely fictional horror. This is not the method of the common thug, which can be summarized as do this or I will hurt you. A successful modern tyrant never presents himself as the thing to be afraid of, as doing so would obviously create resentment and hatred in the peasantry, and that leads to resistance. Every thing to be feared, or TTBF, with which you terrorize your peasants must be presented as some separate outside evil that only you can save them from. You must present the simple choice between obedience to you and the threat of some unpleasant happening, which does not appear to be of your doing and which you pretend to lament the existence of. In short, you must deceive and scare the citizens into voluntarily giving up their freedom. Quote, the people never give up their liberties but under some delusion. End quote, Edmund Burke. A simple example would be making up a plague of some sort assuring people that millions are doomed to die and then claiming that giving you a lot of money and control is the only hope of averting disaster. Or perhaps instead of making up a disease, you can pick a real disease, grossly exaggerate the risk it poses to the peasants, whip them into a frenzy, and then present yourself as their only hope for salvation, which of course will require you to be given much wealth and power. Recent history gives many examples to build upon, such as AIDS, anthrax, mad cow disease, etc. Even the common flu can be used to spread alarm and panic in the peasantry.